Aga Khan Foundation is keen to ensure that all our projects and all our activities and any interventions are really targeting the most vulnerable individuals in our communities. And of course, we know that adolescent girls or young girls are some of those individuals. We know that, um, I think statistically, you know, about 500 million girls do not have access to menstrual health management um, materials, do not have access to menstrual health management support in general. And um, what we are doing with this um, activity is we are partnering with uh, the Nabagarika Foundation to provide skilling as one of the interventions when it comes to menstrual health management support. So we are looking at how do we increase access to menstrual health management materials for these young girls that we are working with. Um, we are specifically working with groups or safe space groups that we've established in the different divisions, Kawempe, Nakao and Central. Um, and we want to really give them this added benefit of having these skills where they can actually make themselves these materials. We are working with boys as well. And we are hoping that engaging these boys, engaging the parents to also support, we are building a support system around these girls when it comes to accessing menstrual health management um, products and services. Nero, batigizo kola padi. Chimpa do chopu iga chamani, kwa na angi nemba zomwe sola, okuzi koli da waganda wanga bawala balala, no kuba gigi dzana wazi kola, ngabo njizerelo. In the area where I come from, there are so many girls who don't have pads, so I'm going to teach them. And me myself, I live with my father alone, so that is going to help me without spending a lot of money. Um, I think as Aga Khan Foundation, we are very, very interested in partnering with as many community-based organizations, as many civil society partners, to ensure that one, we are providing the right information when it comes to menstrual health management, um, to address issues around stigma, to address issues um, around, you know, just the negative social and health outcomes for girls when it comes to um, lacking these facilities or lacking these, um, you know, these materials. I think we are also looking at how do we engage government to ensure that, um, you know, some of these quick wins, you know, whether it comes to, um, you know, wash facilities at schools or whether it comes to just prioritizing access to these uh, materials and to these um, facilities within policy, but also being implemented. We are looking at working with different actors to ensure that there's support coming in from all angles.